Hey everyone, good afternoon. This new mascara will launch to customers on January 15th. So now is the time to start sharing those results once you get it in, getting people excited, and preparing for pre-orders to really rock out January. Do we focus only on mascara? No way, we have tons of other stuff. But we have been waiting for this mascara for a long time. So it's now that we take advantage of this and just run with it and get excited. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a Google pre-order form for your customers. The first thing you're gonna need is a Google account or a Gmail account. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to set up is a PayPal or a Square account pre-order form to take. You're gonna need Square or PayPal to take payment. All right, I'm gonna walk you through how I set up my Google form. All right, so I got into Google. So here's what mine looks like. What it is, 3D mascara pre-order form. First thing you're gonna do, email address, because that's the email address I'm gonna send the invoice to. Then I just show them a little picture so they get an idea of what this mascara is gonna do, why they're gonna actually want to pre-order it. And since I don't have the mascara yet, it's not me. Then I want their name. I want their shipping address so I know where to send it. And for this, I am doing free shipping for anyone who does a pre-order form. It's kind of like an incentive for them to get in and get it and secure it before anyone else. Then on here, I have a little check mark box. So this is a multiple choice box. They can pick how many mascaras they want. And because we've had several different formulas of mascara, I want them to know why this mascara is different than the others. So here's a little information about the mascara. And then I have a spot where they can add on any other products. This is great to upsell and to remind them, oh, they might be out of something else. And then I have a thank you for your order and who I am. And then there will be a submit button on it when they are done with it. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to set this up. You're going to want to log into your Gmail account. If you don't have one, you'll need to create one. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go to Google Drive, right here. It'll be that little triangle, Google Drive. Okay, next. I'm gonna come up here to where it says My Drive. There's gonna be a drop down arrow button. I don't want Google Docs because that's just gonna be information. They won't be able to fill out any forms. I wanna hit More. <coughs> Come over here. It's going to be kind of like a purple little button. Google Forms. Click on that. All right. So here's how it starts. You're going to write in there. You, you can feel free to copy what I have done or come up with your own. So this is going to be a 3D mascara pre-order. The next part is the description. What is this pre-order and what are you looking to achieve? So you can type that into this area. Next part. I want to ask a question. My, or actually, I'm going to put in my photo. Let's put in our photo first. So we're going to put in our photo. So what you're going to want to do is upload your photo either to your iPad or your phone. I found a few pictures on um, Facebook. Save them. So I'm going to choose an image to upload. I have it saved in here. And it's going to upload my picture. And so this is the title. So now, scroll down. I want to hit plus because I'm going to add a question. So the plus button adds the question. So the, with the form, your questions are going to be what they're going to answer. So the first question is, I want their name. So I know who this is. Okay. 
And then right here, you can pull down and you can choose the different ways they can um, answer. It can be a short answer, which is to just be a line. A paragraph gives them a little bit more space. Multiple choice, check box, drop down, that sort of thing. So there's different options for how you're going to do it. Because it's, I just need one line for name, one line. Then I'm going to come over here because I have another answer. I'm going to hit add question. Okay. The second question is email address. Again, I just need it to be short answer. And you have this little button right here where it says required. I need their email address so I know where to ship it. And what's going to happen when I click required, that's going to show up as an asterisk. And they're not going to be able to submit that form until they have that filled out. And I'm also going to want this one, required. All right. So we've got our first our name, email address, next. I need shipping address. This I want to be in paragraph form because it could be a longer address. I'm also going to make this required so I know where to ship it. If it's local, obviously I probably won't ship it to them, um, but I am offering free shipping so it really does not matter. Next question. I want to know how many no mascaras they want. The reason I do this because they may want to buy in bulk. They want to buy some for other people. This gives them a choice that, oh, I can buy more than one on a pre-order. Because when you have these options, it's more likely they may choose more than one. So this one, I'm going to do multiple choice. And here, it says option one. You can type in. For this, I'm just doing numbers. Okay. Then I'm going to do add another one, two. Add another option, three. Add another option, four. Add another option, I'm just gonna do other, because maybe they want 10 mascaras, who knows? All right, so there, number of mascaras. Now I'm gonna add in another picture. So add in a picture, comes right here, it looks like a, like a little landscape. Add image, choose an image. Here I'm gonna show them what is so great about this ma mascara and why it's different, because they may be skeptical, like, why did they change this mascara? Why do I want this over the old one? So this is just giving them more information and giving back value. So I'm writing here, how is the new formula different? Okay. There. And see, already loaded. My next thing is, I'm going to an, ask another question. So hit the plus button. My next question is, would you like to add on any other products with your order? If yes, that's how that capitalize. Please list names of products and shades. And I'm going to make this a paragraph. So if you need to delete a section, you can hit delete with that little trash button. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is right here. See these two little lines? This is where you can add a section. So I'm going to add a section after it. So right here. This section is the thank you for your order. My description, your invoice will be sent to the email you have provided via Square, whatever you plan on using. So I'll be using Square. You can use PayPal because then it goes, you can, since you can order with PayPal, that may be easier for me, for you, but I like to do an invoice so I can keep track of all my orders. Now, they release on the 15th of January. You don't want to take payment just now and hold that for an entire month. What I'm going to do is I will tell them I'm going to send the inv invoice on the 11th of January. I want to do it four days prior. The reason I want to do this because I want to make sure that the money that they pay, they have 24 hours to pay it. Then I want to make sure that I have enough time from Square to get the money into my account. 
and then I'm gonna write in here so they know to pay that in a timely fashion so they can get it on the pre-order date to ensure you get your products as quickly as possible. Please pay invoice within 24 hours. Sincerely, your name. And what status you are. You don't have to do that, but I like to. Because it's, it's an awesome privilege. Purple status. And I call myself a beauty advisor. All right. So I'm done. Now, you want to make sure your privacy settings are set to public. Well, first let's preview it. So you know what it looks like. So this is a preview. So now you can see what it's going to look like when they go to fill it out. So here's the button where they can type. See, they can type their name in. They can type in their email address. See how it has this star there? That means that I made that required. So they have to fill that out before they submit. Fill out their email, shipping, number of mascaras. See, one, two, three has this on here. Next form. Oh, let's do that really quick. See, can't go on until you fill it all out. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Next. Now it says, thank you for your order. Your invoice will be sent to the email you have provided. Sincerely me. Now for them to record this option, uh, to record their order, they have to hit submit. Then you will get an email to the email your Gmail account that they have filled this out. And then what I would do is make a list of who has ordered so you know. You can also, when you go back to your uh, Google Drive, you can see here's this form. You can click on it. you can hit the button send and you can email this to your customers. So let's say you tell everyone you have an order form going, get on my pre-order list. They comment below, yes, I wanna get on your pre-order list. What you can do is come to your Google Drive, click on that form and you can send it to them via their email. Or here's this little button, here's your link. This is your link for your Google order form so you can highlight it copy it and then paste it on a post in your VIP group, post it in your old party groups, or you can also use it on your business page. All right, so make sure it's set to public. I did this once and I did not have it to public, it was on private, so no one could fill it out. So this is how you fill out a Google order form. If you have questions about it, shoot me a message. So get that mascara, get it on your beautiful eyes, take your selfies, take those, make those videos, go live with it. Tell everyone you know, tell all your past mascara customers that we have a new mascara coming out. Send them messages, post in all your old parties and let everyone know who's been on the fence about joining this business that they can get this mascara before anyone else. And this is a huge business opportunity for them that they're about to be a part of something huge that's gonna launch. I guarantee you it is going to just completely boom your business if you're ready to work for it. So I hope this is helpful for you on how to create a Google order pre-order form for the new 3D Fiber Lashes Plus Mascara. Have a fantastic day.